Welcome to the Konoba channel. Today is a special day where I'll be making my first tutorial video. I'll be making a series of no man's scope tutorials and what better way to start the series with the most basic lesson of all, file organization in no man's scope. From starting a new file to saving them and organizing your different projects, these were things that I struggled with so much when I first started my own sculpting journey. So I hope that this tutorial will be helpful to anyone starting out with Nomad Sculpt. Since I've made some changes, I can choose to undo them here. Or I can click on New to start a new sculpt. There are some options here as well, and I'll quickly show you what they are. Background allows you to change the colors of the background. You can change the environment color in the shading tab under the lit PBR mode right over here. Lastly, the map cap can be found here. Choose whatever you like. I would like to keep my current settings, so I'll leave these unchecked and click yes. Now I'll do a quick sculpt of a corner bit. And there. I want to save this file now. So going back to the projects tab, and I'll click on this pin here. This keeps the menu open even if I click outside of the window. Then click save. Let's give this a name. OK. And the file is saved. Now, you're probably wondering where your files will be. You can find it in the Files app. Under On My iPad, Nomad, and Projects. So you can see this is the file that we just saved. By the way, this may seem like a no-brainer to some of you, but please don't delete the Nomad Sculpt app if you haven't backed up your project files, because deleting the app will erase this Nomad folder. Anyway, saving a file like this is fine if I only have a few files, but once I have multiple sculpts and many versions on top of that, like this Elden Ring Mesmer's fan sculpt that I did, you can see that I have many versions. Putting all of these files in the same folder will be a nightmare. So what I like to do with every new project is to keep them organized in their respective folders. To do that, let's save this again. This time I'll click Save As. New, uh, type your folder name and put the slash to indicate that this is your folder and then name your file. Now when you click open, you can see your file here, nice and neat. Another way to create new folders or do other things like moving files around or renaming your folders would be to do it manually in the files app. But just note that you may need to restart the app to see the changes reflected over here. I'll go ahead and do my sculpting. Maybe I'll add the flower. Once I'm happy with the changes, I can choose to save it again, or I can save a new version by clicking Save As, New, and let's version up. Next up, the open button allows you to open existing files. I use this a lot to switch between my projects. Currently, I'm working on a Night Rain fan sculpt and a personal sculpt of mine. I will go ahead and open this one. Always remember to save your files before switching between them. Next, Add to Scene allows you to add an existing Nomad file into your current scene. There are two ways I like to use this. One is to add base meshes, and something cool with the latest app update is the addition of these preset files that you can play around with. Another way I like to use Add to Scene is to bring in my own assets from other files. For example, I've done a bunch of plant studies in different files, like so, and brought them in here to decorate my skull. With this workflow, if I want to add plants to future sculpts, it's quite easy to do so. Before I end this video, I have some extra bonus tips that are helpful to me. And the first tip 
You can make use of the thumbnails to keep track of your progress. You may probably notice when you save that a screenshot of your viewport is captured for these thumbnails. If I work on his side armor, for example, I will sculpt a little bit here. When I save this, I want to position the armor that I worked on in the middle and save. This way, when I look at the thumbnails, it's easy to recall what I sculpted, like the Guardian base mesh, his halberd, some camera imposing works, and armor detailing right here. You don't need to do this, but it's pretty neat. On naming conventions, I know that naming files can be pretty personal, but if you name your files like this, it can be really confusing, especially when you start to archive your files for future reference and look back at them a few years later. So the way I like to name it is by the year, month, and day, followed by the project name and the version number. The nice thing about naming files this way is that I can add specific labels like skirt fix. This was when I had a major change to her skirt sculpt or for export when I want to export the mesh to Blender and that wouldn't mess up with the sorting. Lastly, this was something that confused me quite a bit at the start. So by default, Nomad autosaves every 10 minutes over here. You can make it shorter or disable it if you want to. And when there's an autosave file, Nomad Scout will choose to open that instead of your current save. This can be very helpful if, let's say, the app crashes or you forgot to save your latest work. But sometimes that's not what I want. For example, if I open this file right here, the viewport looks really different from what I've saved. And at times like this, I'm not sure if I made any accidental changes to the skull. So to be on the safe side, I'll go ahead and discard the autosave. Like so. Now when I open the file again, it will open the actual file in the projects folder. Just something to keep in mind because I've lost some work in the past because of this confusion. Anyway, all this may seem straightforward and simple to some, but I remember struggling a lot with this. So I hope that my tutorial will be helpful to anyone starting out and save you from some painful memories. That's it for now. I hope that you have fun sculpting and I'll see you in the next one.